Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In this project we are going to build an electronic dice on breadboard and here are the components. I'm going to use a 4T17IC, 6 red LEDs, some jumper wires and also I'm gonna power the circuit with 9 volts. So let's go and let's build the circuit. So first of all I'm gonna connect the VCC pin of the IC to positive terminal of the breadboard VCC pin is pin 16 of the IC and I'm gonna connect it to power and similarly I will do the same for the ground terminal I'm gonna connect pin 8 of the IC to ground now let's connect our reset pin which is on pin 15 to one of our output pins pin 5 Perfect. Connecting it to pin 5 of the IC ensures that the counter resets when needed, which provides a clean, clean start for each row. Now, we are done with the wiring of the IC. The next thing we need to do is to connect our LEDs. LEDs have cathode and anode. The anode is going to be a longer lead, and the cathode is going to be shorter lead. Cathode has negative pole and anode has positive pole so cathode of the LED I'm gonna connect it to negative rail of the breadboard and the anode to the output pins of the IC so let's start from the first pin anode to first pin and cathode to negative rail of the breadboard I will do the same for the other LEDs we have anode on pin 2 and cathode on negative rail the next pin is going to be pin 7 which is a little bit hard to find but it's over here pin 7 and ground our fifth LED and our sixth LED I'm gonna connect it to pin 10 of the IC which is going to be this pin and the cathode I'm gonna connect it to ground looks good to regulate the counting sequence of the IC I'm gonna connect the jumper wire to our clock pin the clock pin is going to be pin 14 I'm gonna connect the jumper wire and the other side of the jumper wire remains unconnected so whenever I touch the other side of the wire it introduces a momentary change in voltage or capacitance causing the counter to advance at last I'm gonna connect the power supply to the breadboard and we are good to go let's check the result I have 9 volts coming into the circuit as you can see I have changed the wire on pin 14 of the IC since the yellow jumper wire uh, wasn't stable enough and it would bend too quickly this one looks better so right now the LEDs are blinking too quickly the reason is that the wire on pin 14 doesn't have any connection it's not connected to any other pins and it's too sensitive so whenever I touch the jumper wire on pin 14 the random LED must turn on let's see so right now we get 4 on our dice it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 let's grab another number Again, we have 4, now we get 2, 4, 5, 5 again, 4, let's grab 1, can we? 4, 2, 2 again, no, it doesn't give me 1, 4, now we get a 1. Now let's grab 6, can we get it? 5, 2, 1. So it doesn't give me number of 6 on dice, but that's fine, that's okay. As you can see, our circuit works perfectly. 